Well, a new study out today says cutting the amount of meat consumed, raising the price of antibiotics, and introducing tougher restrictions on their use in farm animals could help avoid a situation where antibiotics won't work anymore. Our Africa Health correspondent and Soy reports from Nairobi. Imagine having to eat just 40 grams of meat per day. That's roughly the size of a regular burger. A group of researchers say that's what people should aim for in order to reduce pressure on meat production. From where I come from, let me just give an example of my background there, Western Kenya. You know, we believe chicken is part of us, you know, Ugali and chicken, that's a traditional food. You know, for us, like two, three people share a whole chicken. And to us, we feel that's the meal that we enjoy. Let people consume so long as it doesn't have any effect to the health. For an African person, you have been consuming meat particularly, that is beef, or uh, it could be mutton or goat meat or chicken for a long time. And that is what we know a meal to be. Yes, that is why it will be difficult. Researchers say more and more meat products now have bugs that are resistant to available antibiotics, and that can easily be transmitted to people. So they want the amounts of drugs used in livestock regulated. A lot of these antibiotics can be done away with, especially their usage for prevention of disease, that's prophylaxis and growth promotion, by simply ensuring that the farmer is able to observe final, uh, for what we call phytosanitary conditions. Hello. Hello, hi. Hi, John. I'm nice fine. to meet you. Thank you. So I have to put on this yes, and to... dump all my germs yes. outside the door. Yes. Right. So this is John Juguna's chicken farm. Obviously, he takes hygiene very seriously. That's why I have to dump my shoes here and all the germs that I've come with and proceed to clean them here. This is a disinfectant. Yes. John usually doesn't allow visitors into the farm. You're looking at them. Yes. He also rears chicken of the same age at a time. These sheds also harbor some kind of uh, germs or bacteria. So when, when the other flock comes out, we disinfect, we wash the whole place, we disinfect, and then uh, we have a resting period of about 14 days. That way, he's able to prevent diseases and therefore avoid using antibiotics. <laughs> But the vast majority of small-scale farmers in developing countries and larger-scale ones in developed countries tend to overuse the drugs. If that doesn't change, the available medicine could be rendered ineffective for treatment in the coming years. And Soy, BBC News, Nairobi. Now, what's known as the computer village in Nigeria's commercial hub Lagos draws thousands of people a day in